Hello, hello everyone. How are you today? How's it going? Fine. What about you? Me too. Me too. Definitely. Thanks for asking. It's Friday. Yes. Yes, right. Okay. Now everybody knows it. and your body knows it, of course. Okay. Uh, we're going to start today's session with an activity, okay? So, I'm going to explain the rules. Have you ever played the stop game? I'm going to send you a message. It says stop. Stop game. We have, I think we have played this game before. All right, take a look at this. This is one example. You see, this is a chart that's, that is about the game. Can you see, can you see the details in the chart? Yes? Okay, so, so we have to score some points, okay? We have different categories and we have to score some points. Um, here's one. Oh, look, here's another example. Look, it says name, drink, okay. Um, there are different versions of a game, of the same game. You see letter, name, city or country, pet, color, fruit, plant, thing. Yes? Okay, remember this game? Yes, yes. Okay, so we're going to play this game. But what categories are you going to do to, to, to take into account? Okay, you can have a piece of paper if you prefer. You can go get your piece of paper. Okay or your notebook and we're going to work with the following categories we're going to work okay go get your paper and your pen or pencil okay so we're going to have the categories name okay I'm sending you the categories in the chat. So we're going to have name, we're going to have last name, okay? The next one is, is fruit, okay? We're playing in English, right? So fruit, the next one, <laughs> <laughs> the next one is color, color, okay? In Spanish is very difficult. Yeah. In <laughs> English, <laughs> the last names we can take in Spanish, but the rest of the info it has to go in English. <laughs> we're gonna try. We're gonna try. Okay, color. We're going oh. to have place. The place can be a country. It can be a city. Okay, it can be a a bar, a restaurant. It's up to you. Okay, now place. The next category, let's see. Let me see if I forgot any other. Teacher, name, last name, fruit, color, place. Yes, fruit, color, place, and we're going to have thing. Okay, this is the last one. Okay, thing, mm -hmm. anything, right? Computer, uh, TV, table, okay, depending on the letter. Are you I ready? <laughs> okay, so it's in the chat, in the chat. Check it. So we have name, last name, fruit, color, place, and thing. Six items, six. Okay? Okay. So you can, you can write your, cha your chart over here, right? So that it's easier for you to write down your details, okay? Now, Every item, every item is five points, okay? Yes, five points. Now, if one item is repeated, it doesn't count, okay? It doesn't count. For example, if for a place, I have uh, Guatemala, okay? And Guadalupe has Guatemala too, so it doesn't count, right? Okay? For both. Okay. Yes, for both for both. Of, for both of us because it's repeated, right? Yes? Okay. Are you guys in ready? Spanish, please? <laughs> <laughs> uh, name and last name can go in Spanish. All right. Okay. Now all, <laughs> all of them. 
Oh, no, because you, you guys are masters in Spanish. We have to make it more teacher, difficult. Teacher, the winner uh, adds a point in the exam. Okay, the winner the winner is going to select the names. It's not a, a good su suggestions. <laughs> not a good suggestion. No, no, no. <laughs> Okay. Um the winner the winner gets to select the people for the for today's practice, okay? So the winner <laughs> the winner is going to say who participates in the rest of the session, okay? So, okay. are you ready? Carlos, check the chat. Check the chat. We're playing we're playing the stop oh. game. Okay, the stop game. What chat, teacher? The chat, the Zoom chat? It's um, Do I, is there uh, chat. your phone? The group chat? No, no tengo nada. No tengo nada, teacher. You can't see anything? Okay. No. Chat, chat, uh, Zoom. No, chat, In WhatsApp. Zoom. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, sí. Are you using your phone or your, or your computer? My phone, my phone. Okay, if you swipe to the right, swipe to the right, you will see the messages. Mm, sí, en chat, pero no me aparece nada. Ok, let's see. Let me send it again. Please. Do you okay. have, the, have the list? Yes? Last Nama. Last, last Nama. Name. Last name. <laughs> ok. Last name. Ok, so, we're playing, we're playing the, the stop game. Ok, let's see. So, it's like this. To help you remember this game, we used to play it in school very often. That you select the letter, then you have the name of a person that starts with the same letter. Uh, uh, yes? In Spanish, it's uh, bachillerato stop. <laughs> exactly. But we're playing in English, and we're playing with these categories. So you have to, to create your chart so that you can play with okay. the rest of the class. Okay? All right. And the same for Roberto. Okay. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> to cheat, right? <laughs> okay, are you guys ready? Ready, ready? Yes. Remember, yeah. every, every item is five points. Every item is five points. And if the item is repeated, then it doesn't count. You get no points if it's repeated. Okay? So, sure. Yes, tell me. Uh, about place, uh, uh -huh. can you give me an example? Um, it can be a country, it can be a city, it can ah, be okay. a restaurant, it can be a bar, mm -hmm. any place. Okay. okay. Okay, so we have last name, uh, fruit, we said right, fruit. Then we have color, and then we have place, and thing, right. Okay. Are you guys ready? Yes, I'm ready. Yes, almost. <laughs> almost. Yes. <laughs> okay, so here we go. The first letter, the first letter is letter B, as in boy. B, letter B. Okay, the first one to stop, you say stop, okay? When you finish, you say stop. The name is in English too, teacher. It can be in Spanish. Name and last name can be in Spanish. Stop. Okay, Beatrice finished. Okay, everybody stop. <laughs> everybody stop. Oh. Stop. 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 <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let's it's guilty. <laughs> right, everybody. Let's see. Okay, Beatrice, what name do you have? Beatrice. Okay, Beatrice. Okay, everybody else. Let's see, Douglas. Name? No. No name. Okay. Guadalupe? No Berta. Okay. Very good. David? Bernardo. Okay. Carlos? Beatrice. Okay. Very good. Esther? Uh, he's very smart. Bianca. 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 And yes. Carlos Pocasangre? Boris. Boris. Okay. Roberto. Roberto. Are you there? Yep. Yep. Tell yes. me. Okay, what name do you have with letter B? Le letter B. Letter B. Uh, Brian? Brian, okay, very good. Hector, name with letter B. Brian. 
<laughs> yep, Hector, okay. Hector. Okay. I can't. Let hi, hi. Me... Uh, Benjamin. Benjamin. Very good. Or Benjamin. Okay. Very good. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. Last name. Beatrice. Buen dia. Okay. Douglas. Bermudez. Okay. Guadalupe. Barriere. David Val. Leva. Barry. Yes, it does. Yes, yes. Okay, let me, let me confirm that. Come on. Give me an example. Last name. How do, you, how do you spell that last name? How do you spell it? B. A. A. R. 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 I. I. E. R. E. Oh, Barriere. De la, de la Viet. It's very common in the neighborhood. <laughs> yes, it's a place, but no last name. <laughs> it's a place, but let's see. No. Uh, um, okay, let's Google it. Let's Google it. Barriere, last name. Yes, it's a last name. Um, yes, it's... It's from French. Very good. Okay, huh? You thought she was lying. You thought she was lying. Okay, this is just for everyone. To know. Okay, okay, it's okay. It's okay. No, a person is. Okay, very good. Okay, David, last name? Benitez. Okay, Carlos? Uh, Beltran. Okay, Esther? Uh, Bermudez. Okay. Bermudez. Repeat. It's repeated. Bermudez right. is repeated. Okay. Yes. No points for Bermudez. For repeat. Okay. Carlos, Carlos Pocasangre. Beckham. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, there you go. Yes. Very good. Very good. It's nice. It's Victoria Beckham, right? Okay. In English. So. Okay. Roberto. Last name in English. Barrera. Barrera. Okay, yes. Barrera is repeated, right? No? Yes. Yes, right. Okay, yes. so no points. Okay, let's see. Hector? Last name? Benavides. Benavides, good. Daniel, Daniel, last name would be? Balotelli. Balotelli, okay, let's see. Yes. <laughs> Oh, uh, please <laughs> review <laughs> the sexist. <laughs> I, I think it's right. Well, let's he's let's soccer. confirm that so so that you can make he's sure. He's a soccer player. He's a soccer player, Balotelli. But I'm I'm not sure. Yeah, Balotelli. You Balotelli. Balotelli. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. Very good. It's okay. Yes, it's okay. Okay. Let's see. Now I asked everybody, right? Okay. Now, fruit with letter B. Fruit. Banana. Banana. <laughs> banana, right? Okay. Banana, banana. It doesn't count. Anyone Blueberry. else? Blueberry. Blueberry. Very good. Banana. That's not a fruit. And it's <laughs> in Spanish. <laughs> okay. Berenjena. Uh, Berenjena. <laughs> Berenjena in English. Berro, we, say, we say eggplant. Berro. Eggplant. Okay. Is that the fruit? <laughs> And it's not a fruit. Okay. Douglas, fruit. example. Banana. Banana. <laughs> David? Yeah. Blackberry. Okay, very uh, good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. blue, blueberry, blackberry, very good. Okay, uh, Carlos? Banana too? No? With some berries. <laughs> berries. Okay, that's a berries. good one. Berries in general, very good. Okay, let's see. Hector, fruit with letter B. Uh, uy. Uy, there's no fruit. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Roberto, fruit with letter B. Banana too. Banana. Okay, Daniel, you said better here, right? No, right? Okay, next. Berenjena. Next. Color with B. Black. Blue, black, black. black. Beige. Brown. Beige. Okay. Beige. Beige, brown. Okay. Then. Blank. 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 <laughs> Blank. <laughs> okay. I don't know. What is color? In what language? In one language. <laughs> okay. So. I will, okay. I will take brown and beige. 
good, good. Then, okay, we have place, place with letter B. Bahamas. The Bahamas, uh huh. Bakery. Oh, a bakery, very good. Bermudas. <laughs> okay, and then we have David, repeat it. Vancouver. 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 Bermuda. <laughs> Belgica. Okay, I will take I will take Belgium. Barcelona. Bar yes, very good. Okay, Belgium is Belgica, right? Belgium. Okay. Good. One second. Belgica. Thing. Okay, and you said the Ber the Bermudas. Very good. Okay, good job. Bogota. Bogota. Good in Colombia. Now, thing, thing in English. Bicycle. Boat. Bor 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 Bicycle. Mm -hmm. Boat. A boat. Bor <laughs> bor it counts. Very good. Okay, bicycle, boat. Any other? Boating. Sorry, building. one more time. Ball building. Ball building. Balloon. Balloon. Yes, very good. Any Balloon. other? One more time. Ball. A boat. Ball. Beluga. Beluga. What, what is it? <laughs> Beluga. It's a... No. So, Roberto, you're saying boat. No, ball. Ball. B A L L. -L. Oh, okay, ball. Okay, yes, because uh, Douglas said boat, right? Or Guadalupe. No, it was Guadalupe, right? Okay, let's see. Now, Hector, thing with letter B. Uh, no? Okay, no. Carlos? Can you repeat it for me? What, Carlos? Eh, you, Alberto. Oh. Yes, thank you. Bicycle. Yeah, because a bicycle. Okay, very good. All right. Now, um, let's see. <clears throat> we finished with the first round. Okay, we're doing another one. Let's see. Let me get you a very difficult one. Um, Teacher, pero uh, the fruit is in English. Yes, fruit. <laughs> Yes. Oh, banana yes, in English. Bananas in English and black in the color too. Blueberries. Blueberry. Yes. Color in English. Okay. Now we're doing we're doing letter. We're doing, we're doing letter P as in as in Pablo. P. Letter P. Come on, come on. The first one to stop says stop. Letter P. Letter P, letter P. When you finish, you say stop. Stop. Okay, Beatrice finished, everybody finished. Okay, Every, everybody has to stop. Very good, very good. <laughs> Beatrice. I believe that you copied, teacher. <laughs> okay. I trust that you're not still finishing. Okay, so let's see. Okay, Beatrice. Uh, name with P. Peter. Okay. Peter. Peter? Everybody else? Name? Sign. Peter. Peter doesn't count. Okay. Patrick? Any other? Okay. Paul. Paul. Pass. Peter. Phil. <laughs> Phil. Okay, Phil is good. Hector, name with P? English. Name in English. Yes. Pablo. Pablo. Okay, let's see. Peter. 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 Peter doesn't Phillip. count. <laughs> Philip. Philip. Oh, Philip. Okay, okay yes. very good. All names count. Roberto, name with P? Okay, name with P Phil. 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 Phil too, yeah. like like Daniel. Yeah. Okay, so that one doesn't count either. Let's see. All right, Peters and Phil doesn't count. Okay. Yes. Now, last name, last name with letter P. Pineda. Parada. 
Okay. Phantom. Phantom. <laughs> Phantom. <laughs> what's, the, what's the what's the last name, Daniel? Phantom. 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 I think that's a word in English. Pereira. Pereira. Okay. Very good. Poca sangre. Poca sangre, of course. Okay. Very good. Very good. Let's see. Fruit with Pickles. letter with letter P. Pineapple, pear, 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 peach, pear. Okay, pera, we say pear, pear. 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 Okay, pear. very good. Any other? Pickles. Pickles is, a pickle is not a fruit, it's a vegetable, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> let me verify, let me verify. <laughs> okay, let's see. It's a, a pickle. Let's see. Mr. Pickle. Yes, pickle is a vegetable or a fruit. Let's see. Vegetable. Uh, a fruit and a vegetable. It's Some fruit. people say it's both. Let's see. Look. Um, well, cucumbers are made from cucumbers. Let's see which are. I don't know. Let's see. Let's scroll down. What group food is a pickle? It says here. From cucumbers, which are considered vegetables. So it's a vegetable. Okay. So it doesn't count. Okay. Any other? Pineapple, peach, pear? Tacho. What is that? <laughs> Tacho. <laughs> even, even, even after years, you still... Uh, inventing names, right? Okay, for this game, <laughs> just to win it. Okay, let's see. Color, color with P. Pink, 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 pink. peach, peach, purple. purple, purple. Very good. Any other? Pistachio, pistachio, <laughs> pistachio color. Let's very high that. Let's see. <laughs> it's an ice cream. I know it's an ice cream flavor, right? Pistachio. It's a semilla. It's a seed. Pistachio. It's with yes. Very delicious. Pistachio. Color. Dress. Yes, it's a color. It's taken as a color. Good. Okay. Yes. Very smart. That's of course. Oh, Daniel. Good. Okay. Peach. peach. Color. Peach. Yes, it's a color. Okay, but it's repeating. Okay. Place. Place with letter P. Paris. Paris, okay, okay. Portugal. Portugal. Polonia. Oh, Panama. Pol Polonia, we say Poland. 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 Yes, Poland, okay. Any other? Panama. Panama, okay. Puerto de la Libertad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 La Libertad Port. We can take it. A port. A port. Puerto yes. Rico. Puerto Rico. Very good. Okay. Good job. And finally, a thing. Thing with letter P. Pencil. Pencil? Paper. Guadalupe? Paper? Okay. Beatrice? Pool. Pool. Roberto? Pocket. Pocket. Okay. Yes. Esther? No, nothing. Nothing. Carlos? Carlos. Pool. Pool. Or what is it? Can you repeat it, Carlos? Who, Carlos? Who, Carlos? You, uh, Poca Sangre. Page. Page, okay. Carlos Valiente. Panther. A panther, very good. Okay. David, what do you have? Nothing. Nothing, <laughs> okay. Hector. Uh, paper. Paper. Paper is repeated. Okay. Oh, okay. And Daniel, what do you have? Boom. What Boom. is it? Pump. How do you say? Oh. A pump. Pump. Okay. A water pump, for example. Very good. Okay. For example. Do the countdown. Do the countdown. Very good. How many how many points do you have? How many points do you have? Fifteen. Okay. <laughs> Esther has 15, okay. <laughs> okay, Douglas, how many do you have? Mm. 
¿Cuánto valen? Five <laughs> points. <laughs> five oh, five points. Every okay, word. Okay, okay. Every correct word oh, that is not repeated. Yes. <laughs> how much is every word? Or how many sports? No, how many, how many points? Sorry, how many points? Yes? Six. Las que no se repiten, cinco. Y las que se repiten? Oh. The, the repeated ones don't count. Okay. <laughs> okay, so Douglas, how many points do you have? 15. 15. Okay, Zero. like it's there. It's a tie. Okay. Beatriz, how many do you have? Más contable. Take your um, take your notes. 35. 35. Okay. Carlos Bocasangre? 25. 25. Carlos Valiente? 50. 50. Five zero. Five zero. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's see. David Leva. 55. 55. Okay. He's winning so far. Hector Aviles. 15. 15. Okay. Roberto Correas. How many do you have? Uh, 40. And Daniel, how many do you have? I don't know. <laughs> I know, like 10 or 15, something like that, right? <laughs> okay. Hey. Let's see. Uh, I asked everybody, right? Guadalupe, I asked, I didn't ask you, right? Guadalupe, how many do you have? 40. 40. Okay, so apparently the winner is David. Okay. David, so David, you're going to decide in today's session who helps me read and who helps me with the activities for today's session. Okay. Hey Day off. <laughs> you can go to sleep right now. No, right now. Not, not a break from class. Okay. So now uh, I received I received your emails from yesterday's activity. So I'm going to check the emails with you. Okay. Where's my mail? Yeah. It's here. Okay. So here we have the first one I got is Beatrice. So let's see. Now. So it this is the, the one, right? Or do I have to download this document too? Or this is this the email, Beatrice? Yes, is the email. Uh, it's right. Yes. Okay. That is a document. Good. Okay. So let's see. David, who's going to read this example? Dear teacher Adriana. Oh no, you won the activity in the previous activity, so you have to select who is going to read. You decide. T gave me the names of the people. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I show you a name. Me too. Yes. yes, you select a name. Okay. Who is the reader? Daniel Castro. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, so Daniel, go ahead. Dear, dear teacher Adriana, I am writing to report that the, that we are having truly submitted our homework to Schoology. Could you please let let us you know is it let us know if let us know if you report the system uh -huh. failure to speak. Good. Please find, uh -huh. please find, attach our homework required. Requested. 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 Mm -hmm. We look forward to hearing from you. Okay. And we have Douglas, Daniel, and Beatrice. Principiante tres. Very good. So she is reporting a problem and she also attached, or they also attached, the homework assignment over here. Very good, very good. Let's just work on some pronunciation details. Everybody repeat with me. Uh, she said, we are having trouble, trouble. Trouble, we are having we trouble. We are having trouble. Submitting, submitting. submitting. Uh -huh. Very good. Submitting. Very good. And in the let second part where we have a question, it says, could you please let us know if you reported, if you reported this system, if you reported 
it has to go in the past form. So we say, if you report it. Okay. If you report it. If you report it. Uh -huh. The system failure. 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 Very good. Very good. Look at the way they said bye to me, okay, in the email. We look forward to hearing from you. Very good. This was very, very interesting to read. Very good. We are the champions. Yes, you are the champions. Okay, let's see. Now, Roberto. Yes, tell me. Con respecto al correo, eh, veo que ellos ponen la palabra trouble. ¿Cuál es la diferencia de trouble con problem? problem? Yes. Uh, problem, problem is a countable noun and trouble is uncountable. Oh, okay. I can say I have many problems and when I say trouble, I can say my trouble is, I do not pluralize the word, but actually they, they mean the same. The meaning is the same. Okay. Now, okay. let's see. Let's check. Roberto, Roberto Coreas, is it the first one or the second one? Or the third one? <laughs> Number three, number one, number two, or number three? Number three. Number three, right, okay. Okay, so let's see. Let me display the screen. Okay, here it is. Okay, let's see, who's going to help us read, David? Okay, I show the first thing you read it. Okay. Good afternoon, Miss Gomez. We are from the online class out from Monday to Friday at 7 to 8 to 834 p.m. And we wanted to ask her and we wanted to ask you help us with the dash that's about infinity verbs topic. We had difficulty with sending this homework and requested that, be, that date because by mistake forgot to send. This affected us the global glade of the model. So we are open about your observation and we want you to consider in, in accepting the homework. Sincerely, Esther Pineda, David Leiva, and Roberto Correa. <clears throat> Wonderful. I like the structure of this email. Very good. We're just working. We're just going to work in some details. Take a look at this. I'm going to modify it here. It says we're from the online class taught from Monday to Friday. Uh, from, in this case, we have the beginning of the time and we have the finish, the, the time in which the class finishes, right? So we're going to say instead of at, we're going to use from. Okay, let's see. Oh, I can't modify it because I didn't allow it. Give me a second. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so, oh. So we say from Monday to, okay, from Monday to Friday at seven, okay. So we say from again, from seven to 8.30. And we wanted to ask you, okay, look, you wanted to ask me why, what's the reason? And here we're going to say to help us, repeat it with me, to help us, to help to us. Help us. Okay. To help us. And then we have with the attached task about infinitive, infinitive verbs. Okay, this is an adjective. Yes? Infinitive verb. Uh -huh. Topic. We had difficulty, repeat it with me. We had difficulty. We have difficulty. And in this case, you can use the verb right away. So you're going to say, sending this homework. Sending this homework. Okay, in the requested, in the requested date. Requested date. Because by mistake, mistake, because by mistake, this is great, because by mistake. And then we have to mention the people again. We forgot to send. We, we forgot, forgot to, send. to send the people, right? We forgot. 
Uh -huh. And then this affects us. Okay, this affects the global scale belongs to you. So you're going to say this affects our global oh, grade okay. of the module. So we are open. This is great again. Open about your observations. Observations. And we want you to consider it and accept the homework. This is great. Okay, perfect. Very good. Any questions? No? No questions? Okay, very good. Very good. So we're going back to the email again. To checking your emails. This is great. Okay, let's do it here. Now, I have Guadalupe Orellana. Okay, so here we go. So what do we have over here? Can you read it? Yes, David, who's going to help us read this time? For Guadalupe, Hector, or uh, Douglas. Oh, Douglas, okay, very good. Douglas, are you ready? Yes. Okay, so Dear it's it. Miss, okay. Dear Miss Adri Adriana, mm -hmm. we, are, we are waiting to remind you if you would, would mind some some time submitting 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 or a score from the test we took last friday waiting for you under understanding and hell we will be very grateful very good and it says this, this regard. best regards okay very good yeah. so this is an email what type of email is this Apologize. Yeah. Is it apologize? Or do they want something remember, from me? They want something from me. Requesting. It's a requesting, requesting. email. Requesting. Yes, they are requesting, requesting something. Yes, information. They want to they want me to send them their scores from the exam. Okay. So this is our request email. So we're writing to remind you. Uh if you would if you would mind okay now in this we're going to work in this part so you can say we're we're writing to remind you to send or to submit i'm going to send you a message here okay we're writing to remind you i cannot send you a message right now so you will have to pay attention so we have we're writing to remind you to submit to submit our scores from the last test we took. Okay, to remind you to submit. So, remind you, recordarle, right? To remind you to submit the scores from the test. Okay, now, if you want to use would you mind, you can say, dear Miss Adriana, um, would you mind would you mind submitting the scores it would have to go right away the question right would you mind submitting the scores from the last uh test we took last friday okay and then waiting for your understanding and help we will be very grateful okay so two forms in this case we you combine two things in one single thing so we have to select do you want to sound like we are writing to remind you to submit or if you want to sound like you're asking the question right away just saying, uh, would you mind submitting our scores? Very directly, very directly. Okay? Okay. So, now, very good job. Let's see Carla Criollo. Carla Criollo is not here, but let's see. We have their email over here. Okay, who's going to help me read this email, David? Uh, Javier Rosales. Javier, are you are you there, Javi? Okay. Let me see. Javi was here, but I don't know if he got out of the session. Yeah, he's not here anymore. I think he's having trouble with his internet connection. Okay. Okay. You okay. can. Let's see. Uh, Maybe we can try with with anyone else carlos roberto fernando we have uh, hector beatrice carlos valiente carlos pocasangre 
Who is sangre. it? Okay. Dear teacher Adriana, we hope that you and your family are in good health. The last week we had problem with the internet connection and our homework was sent via email, mm -hmm. but we have not received your response. Okay. Could you please let us know if you received our homework last week? Sincerely, Javier Rosales, René Salayandía, Carla Criollo. Wonderful. Very good. Very good. Okay. It sounds like your teacher, Adriana, doesn't send you the information, right? <laughs> many emails. Many emails with this information. Okay. Let's see. So, all right. In the first part, we have, I hope that you, or we hope that you and your family, and we can just say, are healthy. Are healthy. Repeat it with me. Are healthy. Like, are like healthy. saying, estén sanos. Okay. Are healthy. Okay. Then, the last week we had a problem with the internet. And our homework was sent, was sent, the past of the verb sent. You see, this is this verb is in the base form. We have to transform it into the past form with letter T. Yes, sent via email, but we have not received your response. Could you please let us know if you received our homework last week? This is great. Very good, very good. Do you have any questions regarding this email? Questions? No? Okay. Was sent. Fue enviado. This is passive voice. Remember, we we studied passive passive voice. Uh, but, but, but included was. Yes, because this passive voice is in the past form. We studied the verb. Uh -huh. in, we studied passive voice in uh, in the simple present form. Okay, uh, but when you use passive voice in the past form. You're referring to an to an activity that happened in the past. It's like saying fue enviada. It's referring to a to a time that is complete. Teacher, tell me. Uh, in in this uh, text, mm -hmm. uh, can I say our homework was sent by email? Yes, you can also say by email. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. More questions? No? Okay, let's see. So we're checking Carlos Reyes and Carlos Pocasangre. Let's see, Carlos, Carlos Reyes. We're checking here. And it's here. Okay. Now, who's going to help me read this email, David? Uh... Rene. Rene. Let's see. Rene, Rene. I think Rene is not here today because he's working. No, he was he was at, he's not here. at the hospital. Yes, he was at the hospital. He sent me an email. Okay, so who else? We have okay, okay. Hector, Fernando, Carlos Valiente, Carlos Coreas. Roberto, sorry, Roberto Coreas. Uh, <laughs> I changed your name already. Okay. Guadalupe. Guadalupe. Okay, help us read Guadalupe. Dear Miss Adriana Gomez, we are writing to to uh, to to apologize mm -hmm. for not having sent the assignment assignment for today. The reason for the the late okay. mm -hmm. is that we had to work overtime due to work overload. Mm -hmm. We would like very kindly to request that we be allowed to send the homework until tomorrow morning. Okay. Would be very grateful in our request if accepted. Mm -hmm. And we promise to deliver on time future tasks that were assigned to us. So okay. Say, uh -huh. We say goodbye to you, wishing you success in your professional work. Wonderful. Very good. And then it says yours. Yours. Uh -huh. And then the people who submitted and this email. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Very good. Very good structure uh, in the email. So this is an email to apologize for something, right? Very good. Now
Now, we're just going to work on some pronunciation details. We're going to say, for not having sent, okay, the assignment assigned, assigned. Repeat it with me. Assigned, assigned. Okay, very good. Okay, and let's see. Okay, and we would like very kindly, very kindly, very kindly. Very kindly. Okay. Yes, very good. Uh, let's see. Request this acceptor. Oh, yeah, okay, so only those details. Very good. Do you have any questions about this email? Hindu, what is mean? Kindly. Okay, it's like saying amablemente. It refers to the way in which they are asking. They are being kind in the way they ask. They they uh, they ask something to me. Okay. Yes. So okay. they're not being rude. They're not being bad in the way they say something to me. More questions? No. Okay. Great. And last but not least, we're having this email here from Carlos Pocasangre, right? So, who's going to help me read, David? <laughs> Fernando Landa Verde. Very good, very good. Here we go. Okay. Dear teacher Adrian, I send you this email to apologize by not assisting to class yesterday. The cause was because I had problems with the plumbing in my house. So, I went to buy a parts to repair the pipe. And when I finished, I checked the time. And was, it was a o'clock. Could you let me know if you read this email, please? See you soon. Take care. <laughs> so listen. And the rest, no, because you don't, you don't speak Spanish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Exactly <laughs> like that. Okay. Great email. Very good. Even though you were not uh, here yesterday, this is a great email. So take a look at this. Just a few details. We have, I send you this email to apologize. Okay. And we're going to change by and we're going to say for. I don't know if you have noticed that sometimes when you message me and you say uh, teacher i'm not going to be in class today because i have this problem you i don't know if you have noticed that i always say thanks for letting me know have you noticed that i always say it's okay thanks for letting me know okay so in this case we're going to use a similar phrase we're going to say um i send you this email to apologize for and then we're going to have the action in the ing form, in the gerund form. So I'm going to say, for not assisting, for mm. not assisting. Okay, but the thing here is that the verb assist, what is a similar verb for assist? Another verb, if I don't want to say assist, what's the verb that I use? It's a thing. Oh, okay, look. The synonym for assist is help, help. Okay, so the verb we're looking for exactly is attend. So we're going to say for not attend. attending, attending. So I send you this email to apologize, repeat it with me, for not attending, for not attending, for not attending. attending. to class yesterday. Okay, so. Yes, Basically, yes. we're using the ing form. We're using the ing form, okay? Because I am using the word for, for not attending. Similar to when I say, thanks for letting me know, for not attending. Are we okay? Yes? Okay. Yes. Now, it says, the cause was, okay, because I had problems with the plumbing in my house, so I went to buy spares to repair the pipe, and when I finished, okay, repeat it with me, and when I finished, when I finished. so when this is I in the finished. past, right? And we need the verb, the next verb in the past too, so we have to say checked, 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 checked. 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 the time, uh-huh, it was 
already. Could you let me know if you read this email? See you soon. Okay, take care. So, is this is this a formal email? Would you say this is formal? It's informal. It's informal, but it has a good structure. Very good. So I like the structure. It's not formal, but it is it is written in a good way. So I like it. Very good. Very good. Now, questions. Questions about this one. No questions? No? Okay. Okay. So with this activity, we finished um, the class about emails. Uh, this is not complicated. All you have to do is to review the expressions that you can use when you have to send an email. You have the link of, uh, of the class that we used yesterday. I uploaded it in Schoology too. It's in your student books too. So every time you have to send an email in English, you can go over there to check the examples and later it will be automatic in your mind. Okay. Now we're moving to the next activity of today's class. Okay, so in today's class, what are we going to learn? Let's see. So we have, we're going to change this for specific. Okay, so let's see. Okay, Douglas, help me read the specific objective. Uh, <clears throat> particip participants provide writing and oral details on etiquette at the workplace. Okay, on etiquette, etiquette. on etiquette, etiquette. On at etiquette the workplace. At the workplace. Okay, so repeat it with me, everybody. Written, 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 written and oral details. Oral details. On etiquette. On etiquette. At the workplace. At the workplace. Okay. okay, this is the specific objective. Now, in today's session, we're not going to finish. We're just starting the topic. But after, after we finish the topic, maybe on Monday, okay? Let's see. Participants, repeat it with me. Write a manual. With instructions for a new hire. Instructions for a new hire. At the workplace. At the workplace. Okay, very good. So here we go. At at the end of the of the of Monday's session, because we're going to study the same topic on Monday, we're going to be able to write a manual with instructions on work etiquette. Okay, now, do you know what etiquette is? What does the word etiquette mean in English? Can you explain that to me? What is etiquette? <clears throat> Any ideas? Any ideas? It's like a social position. Okay, okay, very good. More ideas, more ideas. What is in etiquette? The, what do you think about family? it? Is in the, the Facebook share the the picture? Oh, okay, on Facebook, right? When you tag, when actually in English we say that tag a friend, check check your messages, tag a friend. But we say that etiqueta in Spanish, right? Tag tag a friend. Mm -hmm. Very good. So check your messages. Okay, etiquette. When I say etiquette, what do you think about? Rules of behavior. Good, very good, Hector. Thank you. I'm sending you a message. So we have rules for behavior. Read it with me. Rules for behavior. Rules for behavior. What is behavior? What is behavior? Can you tell me in English? Explain that to me. It's some of this. It's good manners. Good manners. Okay. Anything else? It's models. Models. Very good. Manners. We say yes. Manners too. Manners too. Okay. Very good. Modales in English. We say manners. Very good. Manners. 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 Good, good manners. Buenos modales. Good manners. Good Very manners. good. Good. Okay, so good. 
the behavior is the way you act, okay? If you, if you have good manners, you have a good behavior. If you do not follow good manners, you don't have a good behavior. Now, so we're talking about good manners or a good behavior at the workplace. Okay, we're going to watch a video right now. And what are we going to do when we watch the video? Okay, basically, listen to me. Let's go first, let's go to the video. Okay, so we're going here to materials. Semana tres, right? And we're going here to class material. Okay. If you notice here is everything we see in classes. Okay, so, and everything we work with. So here, we're going to go to workplace etiquette. Okay, so what are you going to do? Look, you're going to pay attention to the video, okay? And you're going to tell me after we watch the video, the things that the person in the video didn't do right okay what things is the person not doing okay in the video okay so you're going to take your notes and we're going to discuss the person's behavior okay are you ready yes yes, yes okay take yes. notes about the person's behavior tell me what is not okay in the behavior of this person okay behavior comportamiento right in the behavior of the person so can you listen to the video mm, no 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 yes yes okay so i'm yes. also i'm also allowing the subtitles in english so that you can check the conversation okay so here we go Okay, so you got a job. Sorry, did you ask something? Did you say something? No? Okay, okay, let's continue. Okay, okay. Good work. Now you need to try and keep it. Probably not the best plan to arrive late on your first day. And think about what you will wear the night before. Clean clothes are a must. Also a good idea to make sure you get set early on the work night and that you have credit on your phone for if you need to call in late or sick. You're making money now. I don't hear. Ah, oh, sorry, I'm late. You can check the, the subtitles. Don't worry. Okay. Um, you had a big night. The boys came over. Really appreciate It's your first day. I mean, I would have, but you know, low credit. As you can clearly see here, this is not a good plan. Okay, so um, I need you to proofread this document for me. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll do that later. Um, so like my eyes are itchy here, but yeah, stare is sweet. I need this done. Just to give you a little background, this person is on his first day at work, okay? And he is dressed like that for work, okay? Pay attention to the things he's doing. Pay attention to the things he does too, okay? I strongly advise not to nap in the workplace. <laughs> Are you comfortable there, Mike? Um, that was the best dream of the world. Man, I'm scared. 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 I'm scared
just need to know, have you, have you proofread that document? Communication is important. If you don't understand something, just ask. Bring your own food. A sandwich, perhaps. Or cook extra dinner so that you have leftovers. Complaining about being at work is a good way to never have to come back to work. It's slow, bro. Yeah. Because if I was work. Don't sigh or walk too slow. Making annoying sounds and rushing around maniacally will leave people around you on edge. He is in a meeting right now. Don't watch the clock and be the first to leave right on the dot. Uh, yeah, we have a look at the different times. people, that's it. First day over. You may be asked to not come back. Okay, okay. Let's see. What are some of the things that he did at work that were not okay? Not good. He was late on his first day at work. Okay, I'm going to be sending you messages here, taking notes of what you said. So he was late. Okay. What what do you think is okay to do if you are late? What do you have to do? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Call. Uh, call, right? call. First, first of all, you have to try not to be late, right? On your yeah. first day. <laughs> but if you're late for any problem, problems can happen. You have to give your manager or your boss a call. You have to let them know why you're being late. Okay, any other details? Very good, uh, Carlos Valiente. Okay, any other? Any other aspect from the video that he didn't do right? He was he, looking at, at, the, at his phone uh, very often. Good. During, during working day, during, working, working hours, during right? Working hours. Okay, very good. He was looking at his phone, okay. His accountability needs to improve because he's seeing a, a person is relaxed. Aha, uh -huh. he is too relaxed, right? He has to be more responsible. He is impolite, man. Impolite, good. He is impolite. Why do you say he is impolite? Why? Mm. Maleducado. But why do you say that? Why? Why do you say, yeah. oh no, he's impolite? Eat when it. when when take a, a a lunch to another people. Okay, very good. Good. Esther was about to say the same. What is the past of take? When he took. When he took. Okay, so he took. He took someone else's. We're going to say someone else's. Someone else. Someone else's. Okay. Someone else's. Else's food okay check your messages i'm sending everything over there he took someone else's food okay someone else's food okay anything else anything else his clothes were not correct or were not proper okay his his dress his dress 
his his way of dressing or his clothes, okay? The Where... solution is fighting him. <laughs> Actually, yes, he did. He, he made too many mistakes. Okay, we're not proper. Okay, very good. All right, good job, good job. So, what are we gonna do right now? Okay, we're going to check, we're going to check a text. Okay, we're going to check a text over here. And it says, okay, read the article on workplace etiquette guidelines. We're going to check some rules, okay? Now, identify the key details to answer the comprehension questions. So after we read, we're going to answer some questions, okay? And this is going to be our last activity for today. Okay, so here we go. It says good etiquette at the workplace. David, who's going to help me read first? Hey, uh, I chose one. Yes, or... you continue choosing. Yes, you continue choosing. One person. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, please, one second. Giovanni. Giovanni, can you can you hear me, Giovanni? Yes. Yes. Okay, help me read, help me read. I'm going to, um, you're going to read until it says your office, okay, until this part, your office. Go ahead. Okay, there are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. Very good, Hector, continue. If you if you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. Perfect. Thank you. Let's continue reading. Fernando, Fernando, continue reading until organization. Oh well, uh, late format, but never appreciate any organization. Wonderful. So if you come late, you are a late comer, a late comer. If you always arrive at work late, you are a late comer. Okay, let's continue. What is the meaning for comers? A comer is a person that comer comes from the verb come. Yes, come. So you okay. are a comer. If you come, you are a comer. Okay, so a late comer is a person who comes late. It's like when we say a uh, player, the, the name player, yes? So if you play soccer, you are a soccer yeah. player, right? And then in this case, we have a late player. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. yes. So let's see. Let's continue reading. David, help me read. Help me read. If you get... I can read. No problem. Yes. This time you read. Yes. If you get... Okay. If you get your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. Very good. So in this case, we have the expression on time. On time. What is the meaning of on time? At the tiempo. On time. Okay. Let's see. Let's continue with... With Guadalupe, Guadalupe, help me read until this part. So, if you know, if you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline, 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 will be to guideline. Mm -hmm. authority and support the reason why you are late. Very good, very good. Okay, then we're going to have Beatrice help me read the next part. It says etiquette. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with the employees or clients in any part of the world. Okay, thank you. So this was the last part. So let's see. We're going to continue with Carlos Pocasangre. In those cases... In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Carlos Valiente, continue reading. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. Mm -hmm. Very good. You also, mm -hmm. 
you also need to include all the important detail, details. Good, you should detail. use, uh -huh. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. Wonderful, very good. So we're going to work on pronunciation for this word. We're going to say grammatically, grammatically, grammatically. grammatically. I'm going to give you a tip. Every time, every time you see a word that finishes with C, A, C, A, L, L, Y, okay? We're, we're not going to make the sound of the letter A. We're going to say CLE, CLE. Repeat it with me, CLE. So we're going to say grammatically, grammatically. In the case that I have, let me, let me send you some examples. Okay. How would you read this word? In this case, we don't have a letter C, but we have the ending A-L-L-Y. So we're going to say originally. Originally. Okay. Originally. Repeat it with me. Originally. Originally. Okay. Now, how would you read this word? Generically. Generically. Very good. One more time. Generic. Generically. Generically. Generic. Okay. Very good. There you go. Okay, let's continue reading with Beatrice de Guevara. Okay. In addition, sorry. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. We're going to have Esther. Okay, Esther, go ahead. Help us read. In addition, in addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. Mm -hmm. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Good, very good. Daniel, continue reading. B? Uh, be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisors. Mm -hmm. Listen to what they say careful. carefully. 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 Mm -hmm. And do not interrupt. Mm -hmm. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's continue reading with Roberto Correas. Etiquette. We can't hear you well. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. <coughs> I think we're having problems with your audio, Robert. Etiquette guidelines Thank you. Mm -hmm. are important even when you are celebrating with your co-workers. Mm -hmm. If you get a call when you are eating, say excuse me and mm -hmm. then receive the call. And then receive the call. One more time. Receive. And then receive the call. Wonderful. Very good. Fra Javier, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Help me read. When you receive the call, do not. Do not, do not talk loudly while eating. And remember to close your mouth when you're. Chew. Reading. When you chew. Okay. Look chew. at me. Look at me. Uh, chew is like this. When you do this action. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes, I can hear you now. Oh, okay. Okay, so when you eat, you have to chew your food. And then you swallow it. Okay, so when you chew. Let's see, continue. You should, continue, Javier. You should remember that your behavior and manner are under observation. And manners, one more time, and manners. Manners. Are. Are. Under, Under uh -huh. observation. Good. Finish it. Following. Following et etiquette. etiquette. Guidelines. Guidelines. Etiquette. Guidelines can play. Uh, 
I think we're having issues with the so, internet. Guideline. Uh huh. Can play three. A very it's a good, vital good pronunciation for vital. guidelines. Yes, it's good. A very vital. Mm -hmm. Can play a very guideline. Roles for future promotion. Good. Perfect. Okay. What are we going to do right now? And this is going to be today's last activity. Okay. So you guys are going to work on four questions. Okay. The four questions, I'm going to send you screenshots of the first two. Okay. Let me send you. Okay. Let me send you the screenshots of the questions first. Just one second. Got the pictures in the WhatsApp group? Did you receive the pictures? Yes. Okay, if you would like to work with the book instead of checking the pictures, the activity is on page 35, 35 from your books, okay? So right now you're working on the questions and I'm sending you in groups, okay? So that you can work together. Discuss why do you think the answers are the ones that you select? And remember, very important, this is very important. Speak in English, speak in English. Numbers, when you say, I think number one is letter A. Okay, numbers, anything you say. In my opinion, I think everything in English, okay? So, here we go. You, you don't have the invitation for the group practice, Javier? Can you hear me? Hello, are you there?
I'm going to try sending you to, okay. Sorry. Interrupt the other speaker. Sorry, I, I, I say that in the in the phone I can watch this part. Okay. Which is not good that you can when you're talking on the phone, you speak using clear voice, interrupt the other speaker, use polite language, interrupt the other speaker. Yep. And number four, if, number you, four. if you receive a call while you are eating with the co-worker, you should ignore the call and continue eating, answer the call on the table, leave. Which is not good etiquette. I think letter D. Letter no. Yes. Okay, I think let it be. Yes. Mm, yes. Number four, if you receive a call while you eating with co worker, you should ignore the call and continue eating. <laughs> Answer the call after the table. Uh, for number four, for me, the answer is uh, letter A. Ignore the call and continue eating. This is not good etiquette. Let it be. Okay. And number. Uh, no alcanzo a ver la, la, la pantalla, pero así dejemos. Es que me parece como cortada. Ah, perdón. Ya la, yo la había movido. <laughs> <laughs> y echándole la culpa. Sí. Okay. For number, for number four, letter C, leave the table and answer the call. If you receive a call with your airing,
right, right. It's missing. Okay, that's it. If you know you are late, you should, you should. What's the answer? Call the person you report. report to. Okay, your boss, your manager, your coordinator, your supervisor, whoever it is. Let's see. Number two, what is a tip to apply in official emails? Express the subject. Perfect. Very good. Number four. Number four says, which is not good etiquette when talking on the phone? Ignore the call and continue eating. Hmm? When talking on the phone? Number the other speaker. Interrupt the other speaker is interrupting the other speaker is not okay. Okay. And number four, if you receive a call while you're eating with coworkers, you should leave the table. Leave the table and answer the call. Yes, you have to leave the table and answer the call and if it's important, right? If it's important. If you if you don't want to talk to the person, you can ignore the call and continue eating, right? <laughs> but yeah. if you don't want to talk to the person, another job. <laughs> interview in another job. I if it's if that. you see that can happen if you're applying to another job and 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 you're with your coworkers and they call you, that can happen. All right, so we're going to stop today's session over here. Um, we're going to continue with the class objective on Monday. Okay, so what is the topic we just started today? What's the topic? Manners. Manners, good manners. Etiquette. Etiquette at the workplace. Etiquette at the workplace. And we started and we started today's session with uh, yesterday's activity, right? Checking some emails that you sent to my email address. Okay, very good. So uh, just to remind you, I have I have checked that some of you are uploading your homework assignments. You have until tomorrow. If there is any problem, you have until Sunday. Okay, so I'm going to check uh, your homework assignments over the weekend. Okay, if you have questions, let me know. I'm going to help you. All right. So let's check your attendance so that you can go. Let's see. Let's go here to your attendance list. Hector Aviles. Present. Okay. Rutilio Cáceres. Rutilio uh, messaged me and he said that he was having some connection problems for today and he was waiting for a technician to go help him. Okay. So, uh, uh, Daniel Castro? Edgar is here. Yes, Edgar. Do you like to be called Edgar? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> you're, you don't sound like you're sure. Okay. <laughs> Roberto Correas? Yes. Carla Criollo? Oh, she's not here because she's working. She messaged me and she said she had to work late today. Okay, Giovanni Hernandez? Here. Okay. Fernando Landa Verde. Fernando, he was here. Yes, yes, yes. Where are you? Okay. Fernando is over there. Okay. Let's see. Um David Leiva. David David. Present teacher. Okay, the winner of today's activity. Okay. Juan Pablo Marroquín, yes. he he left. He left uh, his workplace late today, so he couldn't make it to the class. Let's see. Guadalupe Orellana? Present. Okay, very good. Esther Pineda? Present. Carlos Bocasangre? Present. Okay, Douglas Rivera? Present. Javier Rosales? Present. Very good. Carlos Valiente? Present. Beatriz Villalobos? Present. Very good. And René Celayandia? René, oh, René, he's not here, right? 
Yeah, Rene, Rene, Rene went to Seguro Social because he is not feeling okay. And he let me know in advance. Okay, so thank you for joining today's session with me, guys. You guys are awesome. Uh, I hope you guys uh, have a great weekend and I'm going to see you on Monday. Okay, bye-bye. Okay. Have a good okay, night. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Have a thank nice you, teacher. Weekend. See you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care. See you on Monday. See you. See you. You too. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.